Hi there, my name is Matti Sulanto. I'm a photographer based in Helsinki, Finland. In this video, I'm going to find out which uh, Lumix 25mm lens is the one to get. And I'd like to mention that this is the third video I'm filming with the Lumix S1R full frame mirrorless camera. If you are new here and you like my content, please consider subscribing to my channel and tap the bell so you won't miss any of my future videos. I'll publish a new video every Tuesday and every Friday. In my previous video, I explained an easy way to select a lens to buy. And I used these two 25mm lenses as an example there. This lens, the one on my G9, is the Lumix G 25mm f1.7. And the other one is the Leica 25mm f1.4. I don't own these lenses, these are on loan from Panasonic and I'm not getting paid uh, to do this video. I'm just doing this to share this with you guys. I bet I'm not the only one who's been wondering which one to buy. Is the more expensive Leica worth the money and is the more affordable Lumix G any good? The Leica is a few years old already, it came out in 2011 and the Lumix G is from 2015. The exterior is some sort of high quality plastic on both lenses, however it's evident right away that the Leica has more uh, premium feel. Uh, the Lumix doesn't feel cheap at all, but um, the light, extremely lightweight makes you think if there's anything inside. Both of these lenses come with a lens hood, but this Panasonic has seen the world and the hood has disappeared at some point. But the hood that comes with this is... Um, uh, sort of uh, rectangular and it looks quite good. The Leica is the heavier of the two, but neither can be called heavy in the sense of the word. Both are well balanced on most Lumix camera bodies, but I think the Lumix G uh, is, feels better on the very small camera bodies. The filter thread is 46 millimeters on both and neither is weather sealed. Both lenses focus really fast. And it's really hard to tell any difference without actually measuring the autofocus speed. In practical terms, there's no difference. What about the optical performance then? But first, a couple of general observations. The Leica is a bit wider than the Lumix G and from the same distance you get more in the frame. Also the light transmission is almost the same on both lenses. There's less than a half a stop difference even though the F numbers suggest a bit more. The Lumix G is um, easier to judge because it's pretty straightforward. It's sharp wide open but the corners lag a bit behind. It's still very usable at the widest f1.7 aperture, even if you want sharp result. The sweet spot is around f2.8 to 5.6, after which the diffraction comes in and starts to soften the image. This is not what I would call a charismatic lens. This is a very good lens that delivers sharp results, but it's nothing special in any way. The Leica instead is a bit more complicated lens to judge. It's a bit more old school when it comes to optical characteristics. Wide open it's, well, a bit soft for the lack of a better word. It's still very usable and makes beautiful images. However, it sharpens really quickly when you stop down just a tad. At f2 it's already clearly sharper than the Lumix G. The sweet spot of this lens is also around f2.8 to f uh, 5.6 after which the diffraction takes the edge off.
the Leica is without doubt the more interesting of the two because of its double personality. Wide open it's a bit moody and renders beautifully, but stop down it's razor sharp and delivers great image quality in terms of sharpness. Neither of these lenses is exactly a bokeh monster, but you get nice blurry background if the subject is not too far away at around one meter or so. And just make sure the background is not right behind the subject. In this case, the Leica is clearly the better choice. The Bokeh is smoother and softer than that of the Lumix G. Both lenses have clearly visible vignetting wide open, but stopping down to about f2.8 gets rid of that. Uh, chromatic aberrations and distortions are corrected in camera and therefore nothing to worry about. So which of the two is better then? It's hard to say which one is better because they are different and uh, both can deliver excellent results in the right hands. I guess the Lumix G is the safe bet. It won't disappoint in any situation and uh, modern optical characteristics probably appeal to broader audience. The Leica suits if you are looking for something a bit special and are willing to pay for it. I really like the way the Leica renders, but it's best observed in print or on proper screen. On Instagram or other social media platforms, it may not stand out so much after all. They tend to make everything look the same because of the small image size and um, the finer tonality gets compressed out. So, you can't go wrong with either lens. Both are great, but slightly different. I hope this helps if you are looking to buy a 25mm for your Lumix camera. If you have tried either of these lenses, please let me know in the comments below how you feel about them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.